Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the perfumes that I regret buying and I would never ever buy again. First off, little disclaimer, I do want to say that I do have a couple perfumes in here that I have recommended in the past and then because I don't want you guys to be like, oh, if you hate them so much, why do you recommend them to us, girl? No, 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 no. Don't get it twisted. Some, and I will tell you which ones, are ones that I own and I will still continue to use because i don't necessarily hate them to the point where i'm like disgusted but like i have them but realize that after having them for a little bit they're just not it like i could live without them okay so there's two categories okay so with that being said let's go ahead into the actual perfumes the first one on my list is and it's actually a new one but it's juicy couture's we glow now the only reason this one okay this one is one that i have and i'm gonna continue to wear and recommend because it's not a bad scent it's a citrusy very it smells like an orange but to be honest i was just not impressed with it um, i wasn't thinking it was gonna smell out of this world or anything because i already know the deal with juicy couture perfumes but when you smell it all you get is citrus like an orange and that is it there's nothing more to it if if anything it just smells plainly like the fruit i wish it was a little more girlier just i will never buy this again but i'm going to keep using it another one is oscar de la renta bella essence girl this one is nothing but my fault because i had a trio where it came with all the scents and so i should have known what i was getting into but at the moment when i would wear it i really liked it i thought it was like a nice spring type of perfume you know it's not a bad scent but it's the same thing like ever since i got it i have not reached for it like i literally never reached for it um i do think it's a great spring summer scent so i'm gonna like i said i'm still gonna use it but i will never repurchase this again it's um it's not one that i absolutely hate i just don't reach for it and it's a shame but i can't force myself to use it when i don't want to use it okay another one that i actually don't have because i already got rid of it i have some that i literally just got rid of because i did not like whatsoever i made a little notepad so i can look and see uh, which ones they are but one is just going to be rihanna's red fleur I might get a lot of the girlies mad with this one because it's such a loved perfume amongst all the perfume lovers but i bought it because of that reason that everybody hyped it up they said it smells so sexy so sweet so girly everything like all of that was in that bottle so I was like let me buy it i bought it i did not like it it just it does not smell good i don't like it on me i don't like it on the bottle like spray spraying it out i just do not enjoy it whatsoever i really don't know why it might be the patchouli i think there's patchouli in there but i just i think it has a fruit note and patchouli and i think those two fruit and those two together those notes together just don't mix well and i just can't stand that perfume so i got rid of it i kept it for a little bit see if my nose would change and still to this day i recently smelled it like a week or two ago still same i feel the same way about it and yeah <laughs> okay another one also that i don't have but i dislike it even more than the red flirt is sarah jessica parker's lovely girl that those perfumes were the ones that i bought at the beginning i think my video is still up it's like a year ago that i bought them because i was starting off buying perfumes and i was so excited and i looked up you know everybody looks up the best celebrity perfumes the top this is in the affordable perfumes so that one was one that everybody hyped up and i was like let me get it the notes seem decent i could not stand that perfume it is so strong and mature and it, it just that one is one that i just know i wouldn't even wear it if i still had it that's that type of you know category that i put that one in but yeah it just did not vibe with me and i didn't vibe with it so it had to go <laughs> another one that i have i'm gonna do two in one just because they're the same brand but it is the banana republic perfumes now before you come for me because i have talked about these and i have used them look at this one is like right there this one is right here these are ones that i don't hate the fragrance but i just noticed that i started to leave them behind and i don't reach for them anymore they're just very like likable scents i guess 
I do like this one way more than this one, but they're again, they're just fragrances that they're nothing they're nothing special they're they don't grab my attention like others do that i'm like i want to wear this i think i was wearing this one last year a lot when i got both of these at the same time and i also was at the time again buying them just because i was new to perfumes and you know i was like oh my god but the good thing is that i still like the actual fragrance profile so i'm going to use them as i have them and still talk about them because you might enjoy them but um after that it's bye bye banana republic <laughs> next up i don't have again because i got rid of it but it is the juice couture couture it's literally called like couture couture so that one i bought it because a youtuber here um hyped that one up so much like multiple i think it was two specific ones that hyped it the hell up girl and i'm not saying that like it's their fault like no i'm not saying that at all because i hype up things too and that's my biggest fear is hyping up something and then somebody goes to buy it and then they're like girl mentirosa it doesn't smell good so you know don't don't be too harsh on me or <laughs> if that's happened to you but yeah i specifically saw two girls they hyped it up so much that it made me want to buy it and i bought it and it was just not my cup of tea i personally think that that couture couture one is the most mature one that i've smelled it does have some dna of the original viva la juicy but still it was just not for me it was not an instant usually juicy perfumes i'm like instantly like oh my god it smells so fruity so girly either one but with that one it was just not the vibes and i and i actually i think i gave it away yeah i did but yeah okay another one i'm kind of like it pains me to say but it is my alien oh sublime the only reason why i regret buying this is because i do love the original alien don't get me wrong but even the original alien i love it just to smell it once in a while on myself it is not a perfume that i would personally wear out i do have a version of the original and i wear it just when i'm home because it's very strong very ambery and it's not something that i typically go for i do love the dna i love it so much girl but again it's a perfume that i like to enjoy when it's just me i don't like wearing it out when you first spray it this one has the exact same dna of the original alien but you get a burst of citrusiness it's very warm and citrusy but it's so strong it's like and of course that's expected with these but the only reason i regret it is because i don't use it like it's right here and i only use this one the same way i use the original in the house when i'm by myself because i don't like to wear it out and i regret it just because it was a little pricey girl and i just got excited when i saw it because i was like it's limited edition everybody goes crazy for it when it comes out when like certain discounted websites get it so i bought it at, out of impulse and like yeah but i've never fully worn it where i'm like this is gonna be my sense of the day no i only wear it when i'm home and i want to get whiffs of it i literally just spray it on my wrist and then like to have it throughout the day but i don't hate it but i don't use it but it's just such a gorgeous bottle that i really can't like come to selling it like i want to keep it just because it is like like as a collector's item next is vince camuto's original perfume that one smells like pencil shavings the only reason i bought it and then i gave it away i literally gave it away was because i smelled the original in the store i loved it and i saw the boxes near the sample and then and i was like okay i took a picture because i'm like next time i find it at a discounted website i'm going to buy it and then time went by and i saw it i saw vince camuto at burlington and i bought it as soon as i saw it i got it i paid for it and i was like yes girl i opened it i smelled it and i was like what is this this is not what i remember smelling in the store and the thing is that when what i smelled was vince camuto amor and what was in the box was the original vince camuto so i didn't smell what i thought i smelled and i bought the wrong one so yeah i regret buying that one i got rid of it very fast i never used it so i just gave it away but to me it smells like pencil shavings and okay girl this one's it like hurts my soul because i loved it and then i spent my money on it and then i didn't like it so i don't even know how to pronounce it girl but it is l'intradite however you call it i still have it in the box 
now before you guys clock me a house i know i did a video about this perfume i like featured it in a video it is still full 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 girl look let me tell you the story with this one so you don't hate me a little too much or judge me when i went to macy's i was smelling everything girl like i do and i came across the counter for this perfume and i was really interested because i hear so many good things about all of these the black one the red bottle all of them right so i was talking to the lady and she sprayed it she sprayed it on herself and on me and i smelled it and i was like wow <laughs> it smells so beautiful and the thing is with this one is that it doesn't smell bad it's just like a very heavy tuberose type of fragrance but at the time i noticed that my nose just started to, to dislike that very sweet bubblegum tuberose and i was like should i just like suck it up and wear it because it's not like i hate it like oh disgusting but it's also one that i just never gravitate towards and i've tried selling it online but nobody wants to literally pay anything for this they want to give me like 16 dollars girl i was like i did not pay 16 dollars honey so i still have it i literally have it in the box and everything and i don't know what to do with it okay girl next up is dolce and cabana's pore femme uh, edp this one was kind of one too that i did smell beforehand i do love the fragrance i actually do enjoy it very 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 much it's not one that i hate or wouldn't wear again like i would actually rebuy it if if it didn't fade away so fast for me the projection longevity everything is literally zero i tried so many times with it i made a tiny dent in it and i don't have it actually i i had it like last week but i actually ended up selling it finally um i did take a big loss from it i would say but i was like you know what it's better than nothing i don't even wear it so i did sell it because like i said yeah the longevity it was just not fair i would spray it on myself on my clothing and i couldn't smell it at all and not even like you know how sometimes your nose goes blind to it that one was just like completely gone like other people couldn't even smell it on me so that sucked it sucked really bad because i was like there's no way i'm gonna overspray this like more than a body mist i'm gonna finish it in two damn days but yeah so i got rid of that one okay this one is kind of like a collection of because i bought two of the whole line and it's the jessica simpson fancy line the original i don't like it and that one i blame all of youtube and all of you girls <laughs> who ever hyped that one up because that one was like an actual cult of hyping up of people like group of people anywhere you go anywhere you search everybody always says oh my god this smells so good it smells like caramels and sweetness and blah 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 blah, blah. and no it does not girl i only pick up flower notes in that perfume and that is it it reminds me just it's just so bad i don't like it i haven't smelled it in a hot minute since i got rid of it like months ago since last year maybe i'll give it another whiff but honestly i doubt i'll like it i just did not like it whatsoever and speaking of people who hella rave who hella hype things up because they're super sweet and good girl aqualina pink sugar <laughs> that one offends me <laughs> like everybody loves that perfume girl and i know that the queen bee of kathleen lights was the first that's her name right kathleen she was the one who raised about it says that that's her favorite perfume she always gets compliments like who wouldn't fall for that girl as soon as i heard her say that i was like let me buy it the good thing is that it's so um, inexpensive it didn't hurt to actually buy it and then i'll like it but same thing goes for that one it just smells like burnt sugar for me I don't smell no sweetness. I don't smell nothing but burnt sugar and strong, strong smells, fumes from that perfume. I don't like it. And I also don't like any of the flankers. I've smelled them all. Um, yeah, they're just not really good to me personally. What else? Um, this one is kind of like, I just don't like it, but I only bought a small bottle of it. And it is the Jimmy Choo Illicit that one i don't like either it just smells like i don't know if there's ginger in there but there's a note that's super strong in that perfume and it's very warm and it's just not things that i like reach for um another one in the same category is michael kors sexy amber it just mm, no girl it smells very warm and like plastic 
I don't know, it puts you in that vibe. Just like when I bought the Lancome Tresor, same thing, girl. That one smelled like Irish spring soap to me. I'm so sorry if I'm talking all this about perfumes if they're your favorites, girl, but I just personally can't stand them on myself. Um, they might smell different on you, but either way, girl, it doesn't matter what I think. It matters what you think and how you feel with your perfume because, girl, I love Armani's C. I love that perfume. Somebody probably out there hates it. A lot of people probably out there dislike it so much that to the point where they're like gagging and I would be like, how dare you? No, I wouldn't because I know that people like different things. So, you know, it's just a little video to see little different sides, points of views of how people smell different things. There's no need to get bothered by any of this. <laughs> but anyways, I hope you girls enjoyed this video. I just thought it would be like a fun little video to do. I haven't seen a lot of people do it. So I was like, why not? But anyways, let me know in the comments if there's a perfume that I mentioned that I don't like and it's your favorite. I'll say sorry. <laughs> let me know perfumes that you absolutely just can't stand or dislike or in the same situation. I would love to know. But anyways, I hope you girls enjoyed this video. And if you did, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you in my next video.